Hey there, today we've got an African adventure going on. Guys, I have got some new charcoal in. It's called Springbok Bray. I think that's the way you say it is Bray, but it's when they barbecue over there, could be Bray. But anyways, I'm saying Bray today, how about that? But uh, we've got it, I have got some uh, antelope a friend of mine gave to me. We're gonna take that antelope and we're gonna make antelope poppers. So make sure you stick around and see what's happening on Texas style barbecue and cuisine today. I am Chef Johnny, appreciate you stopping by very, very much. I do have this box of uh, uh, charcoal from South Africa. Guys, it, uh, it says it's sustainable. It comes from the acacia tree, I think is the way you pronounce that. But uh, they sent this over to me, so we're gonna give it a try and see how it works. A buddy of mine shot a, a scimitar oryx here a while back, and he gave me some meat off of it. So anyways, we have that. And what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna make a jalapeno popper. Do a little different, a little twist on. Instead of everything being inside the, jala, the jalapeno, we're gonna, I've already chopped up the jalapeno, sauteed it with some onions. We're gonna mix it with the cream cheese, wrap it inside of this uh, antelope, and then I'm gonna wrap the antelope in bacon, get it onto my slow and sear kettle. Guys, I think it's gonna be a great recipe, so come in here close. Let's see how we get this uh, charcoal lit, get it going, see how it burns, and see how to make these fantastic antelope poppers. Okay, there we go. Guys, we got some nice sized chunks and some smaller ones in there. So a variety of sizes. It's not real big. Guess that's good since it's not a real big box, right? It's eight and a half pounds of charcoal, but enough to get a little cooking done, right? So we got that going. Gonna put it in there. Guys, normally I would add some wood chips or something to this when I cook. Not going to today because I want to get the flavor of this uh, acacia wood. So I want to get the uh, the flavor, right, from this uh, lump charcoal coming in from Springbok uh, Bray. And uh, there we go. Let's see how to pronounce it. Uh, Bray or Bry? Springbok Bry? Guys, is that I? I don't know. Here we go. Anyways, uh, that's that. Get y'all a close up in here. Uh, nice size. Let's see how it cooks up in this uh, slow and sear kettle. Okay, guys, we're gonna get this started. I just got this in. Turn it over. Loofed lighter. Um, you can see we I started some fires in the uh, big offset with it, but it puts out hot air and starts a fire. So let's see how it does on this uh, acacia wood. While this is heating up, you can see uh, I've got it set off for an offset cook. So. Uh, foil in the bottom, air has to come up through my charcoal back across and we'll put the vent over here. So we got a nice circular motion and it will be an offset cook. Here we go, get y'all a up close picture. That thing does get hot and it doesn't take it a real long time to get hot, but we're getting that going. Once it gets started good, I'm gonna cover it up, uh, let it start coming up to temp and we're gonna make those uh, poppers. There it is guys. Got a fire going, gonna put our grate in. That's good, lid's gonna go on. So you can see we're set up for an offset cook. This antelope has been soaking in milk, all right, overnight. So, draws out, I think, some of the wildness. If you got a little wild taste in it, I've been told this is very good. It's an excellent cut of meat. Haven't tried it yet myself, but we're fixed to find out. And it's what they call cube steak. So it's down off of the off the uh, off the ham, and it's been ran through a tenderizer. So normally I would pound these out or something to make this dish with. Not going to do that today because it's already been tenderized. So we're going to get these off, just pat them dry, and then we're going to stuff them with our uh, cream cheese and jalapeno stuffing. It's there. Let's get a fork. Let's get some softened cream cheese. Get this mixed together. Got two blocks of cream cheese. I think they're eight ounce blocks. So have that. This was uh, four jalapenos and uh, about a half of a nice size onion, diced up small. So we're gonna kind of mix it through our cheese. Don't want any big chunks of jalapeno to go to anybody. Want to distribute it through it real well. So let's get this open. Just gonna take each one of these softened packages of uh, cream cheese and uh, drop in. It's been sitting out for a while, so they've had a time to get pretty soft. I've got eight of those little steaks, so figure about two ounces per steak. And that should make a nice little 
appetizer guys you could you could do these more savory maybe put some mushrooms in them uh i've got some videos i'll give y'all a link to of uh stuffing some back straps with uh oh it's got uh mushrooms and wild hog sausage so it's got cream cheese in there also so kind of the same concept but instead of the straight popper a lot of cheese you can use a savory and make it for a, a main dish right so that's in there now all i'm gonna do is, is just start working these jalapenos into that cream cheese now to add another layer of flavor guys i'm gonna add some south texas red this is a nice spicy seasoning from uncle steve shake uh, uncle steve's got some great uh, some great great seasonings out there you can find him at bucky stores you can find him online but probably a good tablespoon in there with our cheese and our jalapenos just eyeballed that didn't measure it but we're just going to work that in just another another dimension of flavor guys i always talk to you about layering flavors right well it's part of us layering our flavors right here that cheese is looking good i'm gonna get it to the side we're gonna pull up our steaks here guys and like i said i've got them soaking in milk pull them out and i'm just gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna pat them dry there's one of our cube steaks, you can see it right there. Then I'm just gonna come back and press it down on there. Soak up a lot of that, a lot of that milk off of them. So let's take this steak out here, guys. We can get it, we got a nice, guys, this is natural meat. Nothing added to it. You can see I got a little uh, seasoning there. I'm just gonna put that on my meat. And what that is, is some honey chipotle killer bee. Just cover it a little bit. Take my cheese, put it on there, and then just roll it up. Once you get it rolled, now if you wanted to toothpick these, that would work great. But what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna kinda cover the end right there, and then just wrap my bacon and try to get it at least halfway, right? That's going a little bit past half, so that's good. Next piece of bacon, again, cover it up and just use the bacon itself to tie it on there. And I'm not gonna worry about uh, uh, toothpicking the bacon, it's gonna stay all right. Then just take a little coat of my Killer Bee, right? Coat it lightly. And we've got another one ready to go on there. This. Honey Chipotle Killer Bee is gonna, I think it's gonna be great on there. So that's the way they're gonna look. Let me get the rest of these done, then I'll get back with you. There you have them guys, looking pretty. Uh, got the Honey Chipotle Killer Bee on them. We're gonna let these go till they get to be about 140, 145 degrees. Then I'm gonna put on some of this uh, Apple Chipotle barbecue sauce to finish them off, put a little glaze on them. Then we'll get them off and give them a try. But let's get them on there and see how that uh, Springbok uh, bry, exactly how good it cooks. Charcoal is burning hot. I'm gonna come in here and drop these on. A Couple of smaller ones. I'll put the smaller ones on this backside. There's a little one right there. And let's put this last one right over there. I'm gonna take my new uh, Lava Love uh, meatless thermometers or wireless thermometers. Put in them in. Put one in a smaller one up front and put one in a bigger one. We'll see how those read and I'll let you know how those worked out. but. We'll cover it up and uh, see how it does. See y'all probably about, oh, I'd say about 45 minutes. Let's open this up. These are just about at temp. So we've going, been going about 35 minutes. I'm just gonna coat these a little bit. If I had a brush, it would probably work a little bit better, but I didn't have one out here with me today. So we're not going to just put a light coating of uh, this is Cosmo's uh, Chipotle Apple. 
It's a real good sauce, like it real well. My little meters are working fine. One thing I was shocked to find out, they only give meat temperature. They don't give pit also. So my meat stick and my meters, they both give both. But best I tell on this one is, you're only gonna get the temperature of your meat, which isn't a bad deal. I have no idea the price of these, so I couldn't give you a idea if they're cheap enough and that's all you want. I guess that'd be fine. But I think it just comes in handy being able to uh, know your pit temp and your meat temp. Guys, we flipped these in for end at about 20 minutes. So they've been on there 35. They are the temp now. And we're, all we're gonna do now is, is just set this sauce. That's all I wanna do. So about 10 minutes, we'll get these off. Let's cover them up and let them go another 10 minutes. Which is about time to get these off. Let's open it up. Oh, they're looking beautiful. Gonna move them up to our pan. Guys, this uh, hardwood acacia wood, it, I can tell you this, it burnt clean. It, it is very, very clean burning. Seems to burn pretty hot. Looks like it lasted pretty well. I'm gonna actually take these now and I'm going to uh, shut this thing down and save it for another cook. It has been cold here the last few days and I tell you what, it warmed up today and the flies that came out with a vengeance. So if you see one buzzing by or me doing this, it's because they have gone crazy with this warmer day we're having today. But anyways, guys, hey, a lot of times I get people ask me how to support the channel. Uh, I don't have a Patreon. I don't have memberships to the channel or anything like that. Best thing you can do is, one, is share, watch the whole video, and always leave a comment, right? Just tell your friends about us. Bring people over here. That's the number one way to support this channel. Uh, you can use my affiliates or people that sponsor me. Hey, go check out their products and see if it's something that they can do, like heads or tail hats. You need a new hat? Get older heads or tails, they can help you out. Uh, Scree hunting gear, Chapman beef. Guys, there's people like that, that send me product and, uh, and they're totally behind me and I love their products or I wouldn't be telling y'all about them. Also, I have an Amazon store. Even if there's nothing in my store you want, if you just go through my link, it gives me credit, it doesn't cost you anything more, but Amazon gives me a little kickback every month off what you might buy. So. Those are different ways that you can uh, support the channel, but number one way is, is guys, watch the whole video and get everybody you know to watch the entire video. That's the number one way, but hey, like, subscribe, and share. Always do appreciate that. I'll tell you what, these are really looking pretty. I'm gonna move that one to the side. We'll bring this one, let's see. Let's do this big fat one right here. I think I'm gonna do it. We're gonna slice it and see how it turned out. I bet you it's gonna, Tastes great and look great, but I'm just gonna slice it right there. Looky there, looky there. Cheese squeezing out. Guys, if you'll kind of cut these, oh, four or five times and slide them back, waterfall them. Makes a nice little presentation right there. I think that's a good way to serve those. I bet you those are going to taste fantastic. They look beautiful and they're gonna taste even better. Well guys, there you have it. A wonderful South African type meal today. I don't know if they do anything like this over there, but they do have antelope and they do have acacia wood. So we know they got that. Let's pull a piece out here. And it's got that cream cheese in it guys with our sauteed onions and jalapenos. Uh, got the uh, uh, South Texas Red, little kick in there from uh, Uncle Steve Shake. And then of course, our uh, Honey Chipotle Killer Bee from Cosmos, along with our, our Apple Chipotle. So let's give it a try. Mm. Well guys, I tell you what, I got some great, great flavor from that. A nice smoky flavor, not overpowering at all. I like that wood, the acacia wood came out really good. Um, might have cooked them a little bit less. They should have waited until that 145 to sauce, probably should have sauced 138, 140, let them go. So they didn't go up to that 150 or over. Uh, Could have went just a little bit less cooking time, I think. But I tell you what, 
They're definitely good. I don't think anybody's gonna throw them back at me if I were to serve these. And I know I got some audience in the house waiting for these. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna be very, very happy when they get these. Great little hors d'oeuvres you can do. You can do them as an entree. But, you know, sauteing those uh, jalapenos, mild them down a little bit. Plus, uh, coming in and the cream cheese, that fat, milds it also. So it's got a little bit of kick to it, but not too much. But every flavor goes together. I enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy it also. But that's it, guys. Check out uh, Springbok uh, Bry. If you want that South African experience, this might be the way to do it. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Always do appreciate it. Uh, share us with your friends and family, and we'll see you all down the road. So long, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.